Are you considering using the Squarespace SEO plugin, SEO Space, but you kind of want like an inside look or an overview of how to use it and kind of like what the behind the scenes looks like? If that's the case, you have made it to the right video. That's exactly what we're diving into today. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, we're gonna go behind the scenes of the Squarespace SEO plugin, SEO Space. So I'm gonna kind of bring you along as we kind of look at the free version and what you get from that. And then we're gonna look at the paid version. We're gonna compare some things. I'm gonna point some things out so that you can make the decision on if you think that this option is a good fit for you. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, so let me just explain what SEO Space is really quick. So as you can see right here, it is a Squarespace SEO plugin and tool. So you can only use this option if you have a Squarespace website, okay? So how it operates is like, there's kind of like a backend dashboard that you can use to be able to access all of the different tools, but it also requires a browser extension. So I'm on Google Chrome. So basically I would have to download and install the SEO space Google Chrome extension there. But when you sign up and create a free account with SEO space, it will walk you through that entire process, okay? So if you want to start exploring SEO space on its own, you can go to seospace.co. You can go to Google and you can Google search SEO space, or I also left a link to SEO space in the video description box below. But let's head into the back end and kind of see how this thing works. So once you've essentially created a free account and logged in, you might have to refresh your browser, but essentially what you should start seeing on the right hand side of your browser window is the SEO space icon or logo right here. And what that's going to do is when you click that, it's going to automatically run a page scan for SEO best practices on the page that you're viewing. So the cool part about this is that you are able to run an SEO page scan when you're logged into the back end of your Squarespace website. So you can see it right here or when you're on the front end of a Squarespace website. So this is a website of a previous client of mine. And so as you can see, it will go ahead and run a scan for you. And then it will give you all of these suggestions on things that you can focus on to improve the SEO best practices of the page itself. So you can see here, we can click this down arrow right there and it gives you an overview of like what's happening and then kind of like outlines the things that it pulled through. So that's really helpful. And then you'll notice that it's kind of organized in terms of color. So we can see green, orange, and red here. Green are the things that like we're doing really great on this page. Orange are like, mm, we might need to pay attention to this. But actually what I love about this is that essentially when it comes to SEO, we only want one H1 heading per page. And so we'll go ahead and tell you if you have numerous H1 headings and then it will highlight the H1 headings here. Okay. So I know just from like this being one of my previous clients, site that the other H1 heading is getting pulled in through a pop-up that they have on their site. So it's actually not able to display the text, but I just know that I have to talk to my client about that. Okay. So that's really cool, especially if you enjoy having like a checklist to work through when it comes to SEO best practices and like being able to check something off of your box. So that's kind of what SEO space is doing. It's kind of letting you know like, hey, out of 100% in terms of SEO best practices, we're currently sitting at 63%. Now, keep in mind that like this is a tool. This is not a ride or die. If you get 100%, then you're definitely gonna get on page one in position one. That's not how these tools work. Okay, so this tool, like many other SEO tools, are very, very helpful at allowing you to understand what things to pay attention to in terms of SEO best practices, but some things deserve context, okay? So just because you're not getting 100% on a page doesn't mean that this page isn't gonna show up on page one of search results, okay? So keep that in mind. There are some nuances that these tools can't really go into, but essentially this is really, really helpful. And it's crazy that like, this is free. 
Okay, so like as of this recording right now, you are able to scan any page on your Squarespace website and get this feedback, get this page scan for free. So that's really, really helpful. And then when you're actually logged into the SEO space dashboard, you can click page scans right up here, and then you'll be able to see all of the URLs that you have run the SEO space page scan tool on. Okay, so you can see the SEO score here, and then you can click this box, and then it will ask you, do you want to view this page in the Squarespace editor or in the live URL so that it can pop it open and then it will go ahead and scan the page. Okay, so very, very helpful. I'm not sure if there is a limit on the free pan on the free plan of like how many pages you can scan with SEO space in the Google Chrome extension. So I'm not quite sure about that. I'm interrupting this video really quick because I created something super awesome and I wanna share it with you. So if you need help planning out your SEO keywords for your blog posts, for your product pages, for your homepage, for any page on your website, then definitely check out my SEO keyword planner. It's a five page editable workbook created in Google Sheets that will help you brainstorm, organize data, and strategize your keywords accordingly. I include tips, best practices, and examples to help you get started. Click the link in the video description below to check it out. The other thing that you get access to with the free plan is access to the SEO space community and the tutorials. So on the back end, you can go ahead and click on your name up here in the top right hand corner. You can click community, you can click tutorials, you can kind of play around right there. Okay, so if you want to see the plan side by side and see what you get and see the pricing and all of that, it's right on the SEO space .co websites, so you can go ahead and take a look at those things. But I'm going to show you essentially like what you get if you were to pay for a paid plan so that we can go ahead and compare them and then you can make a decision on if you want to stick with the free plan, if you want to explore a paid plan and make that decision for yourself. Okay, so just for some context here, I am currently now logged into an enterprise account. So just keep that in mind if you're kind of looking at my screen and maybe you have a different plan here and you're like, I don't have that feature. I just wanted to explain kind of what plan I'm actually logged into. So when you log into the SEO space dashboard, basically the dashboard looks a little little bit different now. So what I've done is I went in and kind of added a new website. And so all of your websites that you've audited will show in this little drop down box right here. And so when you first do an audit, SEO space will give you this overall site score. So if you want to figure out what that means, you just hover over the cute little question mark. And then you'll notice that like this information right here is not filled out and that's because you need to connect SEO space to your Google Search Console account. If you don't already have Google Search Console set up, definitely do that. I'll leave a link below this video to a tutorial that walks you through the easy breezy process. But basically after you connect Google Search Console to the SEO space dashboard, then it will look something like this. So you actually have information here that you can take a look at. You can see charts, you can go ahead and click on things, all of that fun stuff. So that's really, really helpful at being able to see things kind of at a glance. And then you have actions here. And so you can go ahead and view scan results, view your SEO tasks. You can generate an SEO report or you can do a re-audit, okay? So that's really, really helpful to know. But essentially, instead of looking at information on like a page by page basis, like manually, like we have to do with the free plan, everything kind of lives under the SEO audit. So you can go ahead and click on scanned pages and just get like the web page URL and the SEO score for those specific pages. So that can be really helpful when you're trying to like prioritize either for your own website or maybe you're using SEO space for clients websites and you're doing SEO that way. Okay, so it breaks down what it found in the SEO scan into SEO tasks. So a lot of the time with my clients, they're business owners, like they don't have a whole ton of time to spend on SEO. So a lot of the time I'll tell them, okay, well, just spend an hour every week implementing SEO things and we can kind of build momentum that way. So if that's what you're doing, it's really, really helpful to have your SEO tasks outlined by like what you need to do. So these are the critical things. These are recommended. These are optional. And then you can click down into these and learn more information about them. So we have a keyword explorer where you can go ahead and pop in a keyword and then choose your search location. So I just put in a random term, banana sticker, and then you can go ahead and search it. Don't ask me how I came up with that. And then you can actually see the monthly search volume, the keyword difficulty, and the different intent. So like why people are searching for this 
this specific keyword and then you can see all of this helpful information. You can see more related keywords. So it's like in this dashboard, you get access to so much more than the free plan. And then also we have the option to do competitor analysis, which can be helpful. So you can go ahead and pop in a competitor's URL and then it will show you helpful data. So I just popped in a competitor of my client. And so now you can see all of their top organic keywords and roughly like how much search traffic they're getting, what position they're in and how much monthly search volume this keyword gets on Google. Okay, so all of this information is very, very helpful when you're trying to put together an SEO strategy for your website. So I love this. I love what they've done to the dashboard. And then the other cool thing that they actually just updated before I recorded this video is blog post ideas. So you can go ahead and put in more information about your site, and then you can add a URL competitor. Once you do that, you can click generate ideas, and it's going to use a search credit. So if you have limited credits, just be kind of aware of this, but we're just going to let it generate some blog post ideas quick. So this is the information that it spit back. So these are blog post ideas, what the blog post could be about and suggested keywords for you to target based on this blog post idea. And then right here, this is in beta right now, but essentially, ideally, you're able to click this button. And then using this information, SEO space will help you create a brief, like an overview kind of like an outline of like what information should be in here so that you're not starting out this blog post staring at a blank page. Okay, so all of this is very, very helpful. But the other thing that I wanted to show you that's really, really helpful, I'm saying helpful a lot, but bear with me, I do think that this is helpful. Um, okay, so you know how in the free plan, you're able to go ahead and scan like the website and get a SEO score here. Well, when you have a paid plan, now you're able to add a keyword here. So you can go ahead and add your target keyword, which is like the top dog, the number one keyword that like you would like to rank for. And then you can scan this page with the keyword in mind. So we're just gonna go ahead and let it do its thing. So once it's done scanning, you'll be able to scroll down and see all of the information. Did anything change? You'll notice suggested keywords words where it's like, okay, we see that you're trying to target this keyword here, but maybe there's some secondary keywords that you want to look into. And so this, it's just like wildly helpful, especially if you're not an SEO expert or you don't want to take the time to really deeply understand SEO and stuff like that. I love this because of how actionable it makes the SEO process so that you're not getting kind of like lost in the weeds of things. Okay, so you can check out more of this information, but like once you're able to add a keyword, in my opinion, that's what really makes this tool wildly helpful is because you're not just getting like an SEO scan based on generic results, you're actually getting an SEO scan based on the keyword that you are trying to rank for. And then once you start kind of like adding in keywords to the page scan here so that SEO space kind of like knows what your target keyword is for each page, it will save it in the dashboard. So we can come back here to SEO audit, scanned pages, and we can see right here, this is the URL of the homepage, which is the page that we did the scan for here. And notice it put in my target keyword, and now it's telling me the monthly search volume for that. All in all, if we're talking about SEO space, I think that it's a really great option, especially if you're not investing in other SEO tools right now and your website is on Squarespace. But hopefully like me going over and comparing the free version with the paid version, taking into consideration that I did dive into their most expensive plan. So I'm totally aware of that. But hopefully you can kind of take a look at their different options, maybe mess around with a free trial. Maybe you just want to get your whistle wet with the free version. But hopefully me kind of diving into everything helped you make your decision on whether you want to explore SEO space for your own own website or maybe even for clients websites. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly the simple thumbs up does go a long way and letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video is helpful and therefore hopefully pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And if you have any comments, any suggestions for new videos or any questions, feel free to leave a comment below this video. I use your feedback, your comments and your suggestions to inspire new videos on this channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.
If you made it to the end of this video and you're just getting started with DIY SEO, but you want some help navigating the process, then definitely consider downloading my free roadmap to successful SEO. The free SEO guide dives into what SEO is, why it's important, and how search engines work, along with my six-step process to improving your SEO and your rankings. And then finally, I dive into the three tasks that you can start doing today to get the results that you want from Google. If you want to go ahead and snag this for yourself, then you can click the link in the video description box below, or you can head over to my website at mariahmagazine.com roadmap to download your own copy.